Amy and I were married on August 21st of 2008 during the window when same-sex couples could marry in California. Within almost immediately, um, I filled out the paperwork at my employer, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, to add Amy to my plan. And um, I found out, I'm not sure how many weeks went by, but that they wouldn't even process the paperwork um, because um, we're the same gender. And they said that the Defense of Marriage Act was not going to enable them to process the paperwork. I've been amazed at how many people, family and friends, had no idea that I couldn't get onto Karen's health insurance because the perception is that, you know, with domestic partnership or with marriage, that we get all the benefits that come with that. And so it's been a constant education process for me to say, well, in fact, no. Ironically, if Karen worked for you know many corporations that provide coverage with domestic partnership, or if she worked for the local government or the state government, she works for the federal government. And because of this law that was signed in 1996, um, we don't get access to a whole slew of benefits. You know, like everybody, I work hard and I feel like I'm a valuable employee. And again, I'm it's I'm not getting paid the same amount if I have to then, you know, pay for a whole separate plan for Amy. My, my take-home pay in my family, it was really hurting our family. And I think that was another reason that we stayed, you know, with it. It, it, it hurts our family. We had lots of discussions about, well, how far are we going to take this? And it did mushroom a bit, and we joked together about, um, we're not going to make a federal case out of this. And that was kind of our joke. And the stakes got high fairly quickly. So now to have the case wind all the way up to the Supreme Court, it's pretty monumental. And um, I think it's an honor to be with these other plaintiffs. And, you know, regardless of which case the Supreme Court chooses, um, you know, it matters, as I say, to individual plaintiffs, but we're all challenging the exact same statute. And it doesn't matter whether it's my case or Gill or Peterson or Windsor, um, the Supreme Court will be looking at that statute and hopefully by you know, June making a favorable determination for all of us and for the whole country.